really good for a brand that is catching on. It's been around for about three or four years, a little longer now, and they their their claim to fame is basically uh, audio video accessories for cell phones, etc., iPod crap, and all that type of stuff, and cell phones and you know mp3 players etc now as you see on the box here we go as we go down wireless compared now these are compatible with about 95 percent of uh, wireless devices that are bluetooth compatible um built-in microphone which is really nice uh compact they're foldable of course as most headphones are these days um that's the box and the box does open it does open up um like a lot of the boxes these days they try to really give you a nice presentation and these don't suffer in that range at all. They do the same. There's the back. Okay, the back of the box just basically tells you um, basically what you're getting. Now these are the signature series uh, which are supposed to provide um, exceptional sound. Now as everybody knows when I when I do these reviews I always grade everything from a 1 to a 5 scale and I, I usually hype them up first and then I usually give my review on what, how I think that the sound quality is. Now guys, remember I'm used to listening to higher high-end headphones. I have Sennheiser, Cos, I've listened to Audio Technicas. I have other brands too that you may not be familiar with that produce uh, really good headphones too. But I always try to find affordable headphones that I have offer high quality sound. And let's see if these ones, you know, hold up to this, hold up to the candle. Like, exceptional sound, they tell, they tell you get large drivers. I provide a frequency response for a precise, detailed, and natural sound. Ideal for monitor reference, engineering, mastering, and audio files. Safe listening, etc. They're supposed to have a lower dB and produce the same amount of tone. Now, there's your comfortable design, etc. Now, specifications are really, really outstanding with these. You get a 40 millimeter driver, which is a large driver. Uh, frequency response is from 10 to 20,000, which is really nice. An impedance of 16 ohms, sensitivity, etc., cord than 12 meters, and it does have for a Bluetooth head tone a plug type of 3.5 millimeter for studio, um, for stereo, etc. And of course, these are the you now these are supposed to be designed for studio use or any type of use in between. Um, signature series, as you see down here on the box. Um, like I said, the box opens up and. It gives you a nice little presentation um, of how it looks on the side and it showed the headphone inside there tilted to the side a little bit and a little diagram there and it tells you what you know, little features on it and you know the box closes up now these are the headphones out of the box of course now guys it's a great looking headphone you can't really complain about how it looks um, it's a nice looking design here, that round dial almost looks like older car hubcaps of back in the day. Uh, moon dish or dog dish or something, what they called them back then. Uh, now these are totally rubberized, okay, so every area of this headphone is rubberized with that really nice design that they put on your better headphones uh, since the 90s. So, you know, you can't really complain too much about the feel of the headphone. It has a nice, soft, supple, rubberized feel. Um, I've owned and touched headphones in the past that had a slightly more rubberized or thicker rubberized feel than these, but for what they are, you can't complain about you know that. So now this is the left side here, guys. This is where the dials are for Bluetooth and cell phone usage, etc. And up top here. As you see your power, you hold that button in, and for about three seconds the power will come on. And these actually make a really nice soothing chime sound when they come on, which actually feels really luxurious. Um, play and pause. Here's your volume up and down, as you see on the right there, up and down. And down bottom is your call interference there for taking calls, because they do have a microphone built in so you can take calls. Now here's the bottom. Here you see for the 3 fifth millimeter so you can use these like normal headphones which is a plus that's the only reason why I got these I, if, if they were just Bluetooth I, I never would have got them there's your input and those two holes you see are the LED lights that flash red green or clear uh, to let you know about charging and etc um, as far as ear cups guys uh, nice cushioning uh, leatherette type of ear cushioning uh, like I said they're large ear cups 
that fit over your ear to a point, but is right at that point where there, it's just basically an on, a large on-the-ear headphone. Um, as you see inside there, it says eye hip on the right side, and then on the left side it says vortex on the left side. Now adjustments for this headphone are actually pretty large, but the one thing about this headphone that's a plus is for the price, guys. Like I said, if you checked out my previous videos with the Black Diamond, uh, Century Black Diamond headphones that I did not too long ago, um, I, comp I compared these with those and other headphones too as far as build quality for the price because they were actually built very well. As you see the metal inserts inside your headband adjustment there on both sides and down in the cavity there on both sides which is really nice for a headphone that on sale for twenty dollars and retailing for about I'm gonna say in the fifty dollar forty to fifty dollar range is what these headphones should retail for. Now I've been on the website and seen more cheap inexpensive headphones without Bluetooth or anything on their website go for forty dollars. So these can possibly be sixty dollar headphones retail with Bluetooth but wholesalers like Big Lots who sell things for about half of their retail or one third Sell, are selling these for twenty dollars a set until they run out. So I decided to get a pair and see what they are. See how they are. Excuse me. Nice soft cushioning. Now I'll get to the pros and cons about these headphones in a minute. But like I said, I'm here in my studio checking headphones out. I've done a few recent videos where I've tested out two pair of really nice headphones from MB Cubics. I'm excuse me, M Cubics. I'm sorry. Uh, and sent, uh, uh, Century, I'm sorry, a couple of Century pairs that I uh, reviewed also, the Black Diamonds, and I want to do a pair of studio ones, which are their top of the line models pretty soon also if I get a chance, but guys, these headphones as far as durability look like it's pretty pretty good, with the pieces like the metal inserts in the arm cuffs, now the ear cuffs do swivel a little in here, um, they don't fit extremely comfortable on my head, and I think that'll be a problem for people. But they are comfortable nonetheless. Um, noise canceling to a point, but not the best as far as noise canceling. Um, the way they look, you think they would, but they don't um, as much as, like I said, the black diamond centuries are extremely isolated. Um, no tone or sound from the outside world can basically be heard from those. That's one of the finest headphones as far as noise canceling for the price that I've ever heard as far as canceling out noise anyway. Okay, guys. So these are now these are meant to be studio and reference uh, ca capable. And let's start off with sound quality, guys. As you know, I have a one to five rating, guys. If you know, if you've seen my previous videos with the headphones and, and guitars, audio, and all that stuff, I have another channel that you may have seen things on with uh, better camera and better setup. Because uh, I'm in my studio now. This is where I do a lot of my demos. You know, if I would do a quick 10, 15 minute video, this is where I do them. So great looking headphone, guy guys build quality like I said I'm gonna start with sound quality okay I always start with the bass I compare these to high-end headphones I compare these to standard headphones so I do have a comparison not just listening to those and say oh they're nice I actually compare them with high quality headphones I should compare them with your standard type of headphones just to give a mix of uh, different types of sound so guys let's start with bass okay now bass Almost dropped the camera. Now, bass on these headphones is actually good. Okay. Now it's not. Now these headphones are qualified actually for studio and engineering use because of the, the flat response that the headphone gives you. Um, a very flat response. Very flat. I was very surprised at the fact that the response is very flat and even to where the bass response is really clean and accurate. Now I've listened to bass tones on different headphones just listen to a real five four string bass these produce the bass it sounded like a bass you know you can hear the fingers tapping the um, strings and etc and I listened to another pair of reference headphones that I have here that are supposed to be professional studio headphones I'll do a review on those and I'll give the name of those later but they actually got act they actually got outshined by the probably forty fifty dollar retail Bluetooth wireless headphone from iHip which iHip is out like I said if I didn't say it before is out of Edison New Jersey and they've been around for a little bit now and they actually produce okay headphones and they're higher priced stuff and I would assume these are probably their second from their top headphone 
Um, I've seen on their website where they had another pair that looked like they were probably their top model, and they were a wired headphone. They weren't Bluetooth. But guys, bass response, I'm going to give these bass on the bass response, guys. It was a very clean, accurate tone. And with the frequency response being down to 10 hertz, guys are saying, they can't be down to 10 hertz. I didn't, it's not enough bass. Accuracy. An accurate speaker, when the bass is called for, you will hear it. Okay? These don't color the bass. That's one thing I know about these. There is no coloration in the bass response. Um, when, it's, when the bass gets down and low and rumbles, it, when it's called for, it, it comes across. Now, I've listened to these headphones on a laptop. I listen to these headphones on a tablet, cell phone, and of course my high-end audio equipment. Listening through, I was listening through actually through a really nice uh, Denon receiver that has surround capable, uh, surround capable um, sound for stereos. And I listen to a football game live on HD TV and a few other things. Very nice, clean, exceptional sound from that type of, of um, uh, excuse me. Oops, I'm sorry. I was just doing something there. But yeah, guys, bass response was very clean and accurate. Tones and etc. with every type of application of music and, and, and movie sounded really nice. I was very, very pleased with these. The mid-range and treble was, I'm going to blend them two together, guys, and give the mid-range and treble a three and a half because of clean, open tones um, with, a, with a splash of richness and detail. There was really nice separation in the tones of, of things you were able to localize lo, you were able to localize certain instruments which was really nice so for a studio or engineer guy on a budget i would recommend these headphones pretty high i was very surprised at how the bass when it's called for it gets down and rumbles and it, and it does what a quality headphone would do you know because guys think that they have to go out and spend all this money low on beats by Dre to get this bass and etc. Guys, a lot of times this mid-bass emphasis that you're hearing is actually colorized music. You're not getting, you are not getting true bass tones. And they, they actually put that on these headphones for a reason, saying that these headphones are meant for a studio because they have a really nice ruler flat tone. So, guys, like I said, okay, overall, here we go. Overall, guys, pros about these headphones, I'm going, I'm going to give the bass a three and a half. I'm going to give the mids and treble a three and a half. So overall, meaning build quality, etc., I'm going to give this. I am going to give these headphones a four because build quality and sound quality are up to par. Okay, as far as being um, used for Bluetooth, they connected with my cell phone instantly. Um, my Lenovo laptop had a problem, so I had to put in the code. So that was the only problem. But other than that, guys, these headphones are very, very good. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not going to say that they have the best sound quality for the price because I haven't heard everything. But from what I've heard for, you know, a, a 40 or $50 headphone that I got for $20 from Big Lots that's on sale now, um, you know, until supplies last, most likely. When they run out, they probably won't get them back. And they might have another cycle. And then after that, you probably won't see them ever again. Um, and you'll probably have to, if you see them, you'll probably have to pay the 40 50 or $60 for them, etc. Um, but guys, overall, like I said on my listing, I'm going to, overall out of five, I'm going to give these headphones a four. And sound, overall sound, I'm going to give it a three and a half, but overall a four because of the build quality. A really nice, soft, supple sound. A nice, luxurious tone. When you, when you turn these headphones on, it gives you a nice, soft, luxurious tone that... Uh, I haven't heard with other headphones unless you know you paid the you know big money for them. So they look and feel like a you know a hundred dollar headphone, and they have the sound quality of, of, of you know you know a nice affordable entry level studio headphone. They actually have that type of sound. Now negatives about this headphone I'm going to say as far as sound are it does have a slight slight thin sound across the board. Um, not necessarily the cutoff ranges. They didn't really roll off the ranges wrong or anything too, or too soon or too late on these headphones, guys, and the frequency response. But there is a little thinness in the overall uh, sound. Um, if it was a little thicker, if it was a little thicker and overall with that tone, I think that uh, they would have to one pay more money for drivers and etc. And they wouldn't have that total ability. Um, but that's just the way it is. But okay, guys, I'm going to end this video by saying I'm going to give these headphones a four overall. So okay, guys, like I always say, God bless. Goodbye.